The University of Texas at Dallas is dedicating a whole week next week to improving brain health. And so that's the focus of this week's Here and Now conversation with Fox 4's Sean Rapp. I'm talking with Dr. Julie Frattentoni, uh, who is a PhD, cognitive neuroscience, and uh, head of operations at uh, the Brain Health Center at the University of Texas at Dallas. The Center for Brain Health is a translational research center, and um, we really specialize in taking scientific discoveries and making them accessible to the broader community, whether that's through programs or through speaking engagements. Um, we really want to create tools and make it easy and accessible for people to learn more about how to be proactive about their brain health. What about our brains? I mean, we're using it all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's wild to think that we have, you know, meal plans and we have plans for exercise, but we don't have a brain wellness plan. And that is the core of all that we do. It's our most important asset. We can't do anything without it. And yet um, we just haven't focused on it up until this point. There is a week coming up February 20th through 24th that uh, has been designated as Brain Health Week. Is that right? Yes, we're really excited um, to get the word out. It's a lot about raising awareness, but not just awareness, giving people actual tools so they feel empowered, so they know what to do. The word is getting out about neuroplasticity. People have started to understand, okay, I can change my brain, but now the question is, is they don't know where to go and they don't know where to start. You talk about changing the brain. You said we really can change our brain. When you say that, Dr. Fred and Tony, what do you mean? In what way? The brain that you have is a brain that you've built based on how you've used it. And so we know that through repeating habits, um, our environment, those things influence our neuroplasticity. And we can actually rewire and retrain our brain um, to become healthier and stronger. Tell me about some of the activities. Sure. So each day has a different theme um, where we have three different factors that we focus on that we think largely contribute to brain health, um, not just think, but from our research has shown. And so um, day one is about empowerment, like I said, letting people know there's things that you can do. And that day is focused around family. Um, so we're inviting um, parents with their children to come. Um, explore the family fun fair. And then the other days focus around clarity, um, connection to people and purpose, and emotional balance. And then the final day is about community impact. And we've got over 60 different community partners um, helping us to make Brain Health Week, uh, to really celebrate and make Brain Health Week something big. Okay, how can folks find out more uh, Dr. Fred and Tony about uh, Brain Health Week. You can go to brainhealthweek.org. Um, it has all the details for the different events every day of the week, um, how you can participate either in person or virtually. And um, the other big thing that I didn't mention is that we are doing a daily text challenge for the week of Brain Health Week. And so that's something that we think is a really easy on-ramp. Um, you can sign up for the text challenge. The phone number um, is at brainhealthweek.org as well. Um, that just gives you one simple thing that you can do each day of Brain Health Week. All right. Awesome. So you're reaching out in different ways, easy ways for people to connect. Yes. Very good. Dr. Julie Frattentoni, uh, University of Texas at Dallas, the Center for Brain Health, and February 20th through 24th, Brain Health Week right here. Thank you for taking time to talk to us. Thank you so much. All right, and thank you both in that daily text challenge to exercise. Steve Eager, think about that. I need to do that. You mean I, yeah. you'll text me something? <laughs> I'll text you every day. I'll challenge you the number to sign up for the official text and all the information. All you have to do is, is check out brainhealthweek.org and all the info is right there.